you're wondering how your car's AC system works, it's really just based on simple physics. Did you know a vehicle's air conditioning system does not create cold air? It actually removes warm air. Your AC conditions the air by not only cooling it down, but by also reducing the moisture content. There are five main parts of a car's air conditioning system. The compressor, the condenser, the thermal expansion valve, or orifice tube, the evaporator, and the accumulator, or the receiver dryer. Each of these parts is connected by tubing or hoses to form a closed loop system. Through that loop runs refrigerant, which really does the work of cooling down the air. When your car's AC doesn't work well and blows warm air, it's this refrigerant that is usually low since it slowly leaks out over time. Let's start with the compressor on the high pressure side. The compressor is a belt driven pump powered by the engine's crankshaft, which pushes the refrigerant through the loop. Just as a heart pumps blood through your body, when the refrigerant is drawn into the compressor from the evaporator, it is in a low pressure gaseous form. In your AC, the hot high pressure refrigerant flows through the high pressure line to the condenser. It uses the air flowing through its fins to cool the refrigerant. Has the mirror in your bathroom ever fogged up when you took a hot shower? Or have you had a can of soda sweat on a hot day? That's condensation. It's when gas or vapor changes into a liquid. So as the refrigerant gas cools and releases the heat, it condenses and becomes a liquid refrigerant. As the refrigerant moves out of the condenser, the liquid goes through the receiver dryer. The receiver dryer is a reservoir that removes any water currently in the system. This is important because water in the system could freeze and cause a lot of damage to internal parts. The now liquid refrigerant then flows through high pressure tubing back towards your car's dash where it passes through a small valve. Depending on your car, this valve is called either a thermal expansion valve or an orifice tube. Both reduce the temperature of the refrigerant by restricting the flow. This is also where the refrigerant transitions over to a low pressure side of the system. Both the thermal expansion valve and orifice tube regulate the flow of refrigerant, allowing it to expand, which reduces the pressure, turning it into a low pressure liquid. Finally, we have the evaporator, which is located under the dash in the interior of the car. This is the part of the system that directly does the work of cooling the cabin. Ever sweat in the car because your AC wasn't working? That's the body's way of cooling you down. Water released from our pores evaporates, cooling our skin and releasing heat. In the evaporator, cooler liquid refrigerant changes to a gas as it absorbs the heat from the air in the cabin. Knowing more about AC systems can help you save money on simple maintenance, like recharging with AC Pro products.